In this installation video, we'll begin by attaching the rapid pass pull line to the pre installed pull line in the EMT conduit. The green pull line, shown here, should be pre installed from the terminal box on the top floor to the CE cabinet on the bottom floor. Wrap knots with vinyl tape to prevent snagging. Attach the pulling eye of the cable to the first clip of the black pull line, closing the clip completely. Using either radios or cell phones for communication, instruct the installer at the CE cabinet to begin pulling the cable, but only until the cable and second clip enter the conduit. Move one floor down and observe as the pull line and first cable pass through the terminal box. Once the second clip appears, ask the installer at the CE cabinet to stop pulling. Attach the pulling eye of the second cable to the clip, closing the clip completely. Direct the installer at the CE cabinet to resume pulling the cable until it fully enters the conduit, then pause. Repeat these steps for all remaining floors until every cable is pulled. Open the CE cabinet. Unclip the cable from the black pull line and feed the cable through your top right entry port. Using our standard recommended procedure 004-175 as a guide, remove the pulling grip to expose the MTP connectors on the end of the cable. Next, remove the large black dust cap. The small green dust cap indicates a clean end face, so your MTP connector does not need to be cleaned or inspected before it's mated to an adapter. Even the provided adapters are shuttered to ensure their cleanliness. Remove the green dust cap and insert it into the correct shuttered MTP adapter on the bottom two rows of the patch panel. Listen for the MTP connector to click as it locks in place. Using the brackets on the right wall of the CE cabinet, begin installing the splitters which come with a connector parking feature. Once each splitter is attached to the cabinet, clean and install the SCAPC connector on the aqua cable to the desired splitter adapter in the top two rows of the patch panel. Route the splitter legs at the rear of the cabinet. The splitter legs can now be connected to the patch panel. Each SC-APC connector should be cleaned prior to mating. The CE cabinet is ready for splicing the input cable. A splice tray is provided on the left wall of the cabinet. Once spliced, the splitter output legs can be routed and installed in the patch panel. Remember, each SC-APC connector should be cleaned prior to mating. Going back to the terminal box on each floor, remove the reel from its payoff position. Remove the eight exterior tabs from the collapsible reel by flexing them back and forth until they break off. Find and pull out the MTP connector with a small length of cable. Now collapse the reel as shown until it's small enough to fit into your terminal box. Place the small hole in the reel on the aluminum post in the terminal box. If the MTP connectors don't need to be connected immediately, you can store them safely with the small green dust caps in the terminal box with the door closed. After placing the collapsed reel in the terminal box, you can route any MTP connectors that are needed immediately through the box as shown. Remove the small green dust cap and insert the MTP connector into a shuttered adapter on the back of your panel. Listen for the MTP connector to click as it locks in place. Now, snap the adapter panel into the bracket shown in the box. Ensure the cable routing in the terminal box does not pinch the cable or violate its minimum bend radius. Rotate the bracket assembly up and into the box until it snaps into place. Be careful to avoid pinching the cable during this step. If you need additional security, use the box's locking feature. For additional resources, visit our website at www.corning.com.